show. Fiberglass Boomtown. Mecca for the V8 faithful. Pilgrims, diehards, gearheads, zealots. A multitude of fans bound together by a ribbon of asphalt. Celebrating as one the triumph of speed and the escape from everything routine. If you've never been, check your expectations at the game. Everything else is just a game. I think it's about to be a wild day here in Atlanta. Um, I'm just uh, excited to do this. I mean, the fact that I'm still top five points really says how much of an improvement this team and this car has had over the last couple seasons. Like, this is going to be the season, I think. But uh, still a long way to go in the season, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, just got to take it one race at a time. So without further ado, let's do that. So one chassis, a little worn, as well as the engine and the body, still a little worn from uh, Vegas. But it was it, I kept the, that car clean most of the race, so not as bad as it, it's not like it lost too much uh, condition. It's car in 72, so that's really good. Let's qualify this thing and see what we can, uh, see what we can do. First lap 30 42, middle of the pack. Need a little bit better than that to get that sponsor objective. Got it. Wait, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> that's so ridiculous. Alright, well, that's not what I was expecting. Um, what I did know, uh, I did take note of, is that this is apparently a low downforce track. Look at the downforce. I put it all as far, pretty far left so that it would stay loose. Because uh, I like loose race cars, so I don't like, I don't like a tight race car. I can have a loose race car, but a tight race car, obviously. Um, and everything else, it seems like kind of what I should do, but yeah, I'm I'm ready to go. Let's get this race at Atlanta underway. EA Sports welcomes you to Hampton, Georgia, site of today's NASCAR Winston Cup race, the Bass Pro Shops MBNA 500. This place has it all. They even have a nine-story office and condominium complex right here at the track. And there is always great racing to go along with the amenities. Isn't that right? NASCAR doesn't use restrictor plates for this track, which is why it's actually one of the fastest tracks in Winston Cup Series. We may see some speeds hit 200 miles an hour just before they dive into the corners. The 83 car seems to always finish in the top 10. It's amazing, isn't it? This guy is finishing in the top 10 week in and week out. That's what makes him hard to beat at the end of the year. An impressive average finish record for Bobby Labonte. Man, he is amazing. And what a charge towards the championship that gives him. You don't even need that many wins if you're finishing in the top 10 every week. The 43 car hasn't performed well at all at the Speedway tracks this season. His crew chief assured me this morning that they have got a fast car. Let's keep an eye on him and see how it goes. starting lineup for the race. In the front row are the Team Rusty Dodge and the 83 car. In the second row are the Sterling Marlin Dodge and the Altel Dodge. Dale Earnhardt Jr., this season's point leader, will start the race from sixth place. In row four are the Sitco 4 and the Valvoline Pontiac. Routing out the top 10 starting spots are the Home Depot Chevrolet and the DuPont Chevrolet. The sixth row has the Pfizer 4 and the O2 car. In row 
07 are the Interstate Battery Chevrolet and the Motorcraft 4. Starting the race from row 8 are the Caterpillar Dodge and the Napa Auto Parts Chevrolet. And in row 9 are the UPS 4 and the Rubbermaid Sharpie 4. Starting in row 10 will be the Granger 4 and the Tide Pontiac. In row 11 are the Haviland Dodge and the 19 car. In row 12 are the U.S. Army Pontiac and the Net Zero Pontiac. Row 13 finds the Pennzoil Chevrolet and the Singular Wireless Chevrolet. The 14th row has the 11 car and the GM Goodrent Chevrolet. In row 15 are the America Online Chevrolet and the Cheerios Dodge. Starting the race from row 16 are the Target Dodge and the 199 car. Row 17 has the David Green Pontiac and the UAW Delphi Chevrolet. Starting in row 18 will be the Dr. Pepper Dodge and the DeWalt Power Tools 4. In row 19 are the Stacker 2 Dodge and the Dodge Dealers UAW Dodge. In row 20 are the Kellogg Chevrolet and the M&M's Ford. Back in row 21 we have the 27 car and the Bam Racing Dodge. It's good to go race the handland. Let's do it. I kind of just cheat my way in turn one, and one pen I passed. I got by one pen car, but the other one passed me. On the outside. Oh my goodness, I really cut off Stoly Martin that time. My god, that was You couldn't you couldn't fit a sheet of paper through there. Between me and Stoly Martin off two there and I went down to block him. Oh my goodness. Still in second either way because because I might have cleared Rusty Wallace going in turn one, but uh, I left the outside open for Ryan Newman. I looked like the Char that looked like the Charlotte movie made like late in the late in the race in 07, that chase race. You just check down the outside after no one went on the inside. Yeah, I knew this was not a race winning car. It's like a top 10 car at best, I think, because, I mean, I, I just, I don't think it's good in the long run. I probably should have made an adjustment for that to uh, get, get it for the long run, but, I mean, I was, like, losing ground in every lap, and then the fact that I had to block the rest of the pack behind me was kind of made it real difficult to just even try to catch up. I had to focus on behind me instead of in front of me. But I really should just be running my race and just kind of run my line, just kind of ride with these guys. Maybe save my, maybe I'll save my tires a little bit and that'll help me out in the long run. We got some takers there in the Alpair Road, Junior's first one on this lap. Um, I feel like Johnson might have, might have a car that falls off at the end of the run real badly, which is why Stewart and I have been actually losing ground to the top two in Mark Martin and uh, Ryan Newman. I don't know if I want a short pit because I feel like that's going to hurt me in the, in the long, long run. So. I might just like weigh it out as long as possible, maybe try to get 5 bonus points, and then see what we can do after that. Newman took it down pit road, so he's probably going to take the win here because like he's kind of in the right spot to do this. And I, and I should remind myself it's a can and a half of fuel max because, I mean, the, the fact that we just got to the low on fuel, like 15 laps, I mean, we could probably like, we could, we can take just a can and a half of gas and then be done with it, so. That's something I gotta be mindful of. I think Stewart's going up the road this time because of the way he just drove down the back stretch here. Yep, 
I'm gonna stay out one more lap and then pit because I can't see myself like going any further than that. So that helps me a little bit because I I think that I can I can hunt down Johnson a little bit with the draft maybe and the no never mind I'm too tight for I'm too tight in the corner to even do that anymore. I can't I have to slow down a lot more corner I like this point in the run. If it's stupid tight behind another car, it's terrible. But yeah, I mean it's just. I think it's I think it's gone real well so far. Just gotta get my marks the rest of the way. So here I come this time. Can't follow Johnson and each thing out a little longer with all of my marks. So here we go. Shot one outside. That's a real good stop for it to be 15.6. A lot of improvements this season, huh? Oh my goodness, I almost like... LePage, Stewart coming off the road, almost... Just about LePage, Jared, and everyone else too. Oh my goodness. Drop back a few spots, but have a lap or two fresher tires, that'll help. Um, some of these guys still have stayed out for a little while, so... Gotta wait for that as well. I'm driving on the anchor for some reason, I don't know why. I was watching like the map and whatever. So, I still a bit of a ways to go. Got back only a lap now, so it'll be interesting to see how the rest of this race plays out and if I can like gain a couple spots or at least a couple spots at the end of this race, depending on how that stop went. I mean, I thought it was a great pantry and decent pit exit, so still right with Jimmy Johnson, I guess. So, oh my goodness, he just cut off Ricky Rudd there. But we'll see how the rest of this race goes. See if I can. Hold on this car and try to get a good finish. I haven't able to pass anyone yet, I just realized that. I didn't want to pass anyone that first run, but hopefully the second one will be able to because the tires are uh, different for everyone now, for most of us. Well, that's one car I passed, still in Marlin, but so there's still like seven cars in front of me I could pass. I think Newman's up, up front and gone right now. That's that's unfortunate, but I mean he had he had the best car all day at this point because like he pulled he pulled away on the start and just I kept everyone behind me at bay trying to hold my position and that kind of gave him a big lead that he was like kind of looking for at this point. I think Gilman I could probably catch him as Mark Martin because he had. He played a little later than everyone else, and that's probably the best tires on track, so that's about it. Jeff Gordon's gonna pass it for this 10th spot, I kinda let him go, because I can't, I can't run the outside and try to hold on to it, it's, it's bad. But, I mean, we're still in the top 10, that's, we're married right now, and I'm, I'm glad for that. Trying to follow Jeff Gordon through the field, and that was oh, that was a horrible turn one. I just slid the tires in the one again, and now I just oh my goodness, slip and slide land, right? Oh, oh, bro. goodness gracious. Uh, come on, turn, turn, turn. Oh, it's not gonna turn now, which is in fact, I I slid the tires twice in this run. I didn't even do that the last run, which is really annoying. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know why I did different to this car. I didn't make any adjustments, so I thought. Maybe it will work out for the, rest, for the second run. Now I've lost, uh, I've lost pace with Jeff Gordon, so I don't think I can gain any more spots this straight. Damn it! I didn't mean I didn't mean to give him that 
win that much. I just was trying to hold my position there. Oh well. Whatever. What I lot pressure tires so Bobby, but I'm still getting a top ten, so that's pretty crazy. Atlanta, wow. Oh man, my hands are just sore from that one. Ryan Newman did hold off Mark Martin at the end. Mark Martin was coming with those fresh tires and I lap traffic up too. Lead changes were pretty scarce. You could definitely tell the drivers who had the stronger cars, they got out front early and stayed there the majority of the race. The 83 car took excellent care of his race car. Yeah, you never quite know what's going to happen in these NASCAR Winston Cup races. When you finish a race and your car still looks brand new, you've done one heck of a job as a driver. From all of us here at EA Sports, thanks for joining us today and we'll see you next time. Pretty sure the only damage I did to like my, to my car was uh, when I kind of hit Jeff Gordon and I, uh, uh, like inside 10 to go. I was trying to just get up to him. I didn't mean to hit him or anything like that. They didn't do anything to outside him. But then the other time I probably like when I uh, ran or burn off track track to my top 10 spot. So that's about it. Um, yeah, we got all the, the sponsor gifts again, and we're up to uh, we gained almost 400,000 in that race. So that helps a lot because uh, we definitely need it. Um, and then we went off the five laps, which was uh, pretty, good, pretty good considering he uh, was able to get by on the outside in that first lap and then just destroy the field. That probably would have been Rusty Wall, so I didn't cut him off going in turn one and take the lead from him. Uh, going in turn one, then he would just blast by on the outside. Yep, that's about it. I mean, who fell this race? Harvick did. Ooh, that's not good. He, uh, he needed a good run today just because he started 28 and man, that's a, that's a tough break for him to fall out halfway through the race. Let's get out of here. I will say that was one of the better Atlanta races I've had in a long time. I mean, that was just absolutely fantastic way I did that. Uh, garage, let's see what we can do. So six races until the, the new chassis uh, uh, engine and body come in. So that's uh, really cool. Uh, the only thing that helps this is durability. I mean, I mean we kind of need it because you never know when we're gonna wreck it, wreck it. So, but we'll see. Let me see what the other uh, parts cost overhaul. So we can do it. So, so oof, that's half my budget right there. Four fifty five thousand. Uh, I don't think we need it though, because like I mean, it's pretty good already. Uh, the other engine is like needs some work, so I think I'll work on that one instead. For so this is four hundred thousand. That helps. That'll help a lot, I think. Um, bodies, that's pretty decent already. I don't think I'll need to do that. We'll just repair it for two races. 225000 just to repair it. Oh my goodness. Uh, what's the other one right now? Uh, so, let's do it. 7368 and 7365. Let's all have this one. Uh, no. This, okay, let's, we'll, we'll just repair this right now. Two races. Cost 225000 uh, the engine, let's overhaul this one, it'll cost a pretty penny, 402000 And then for the chassis, I think you'll, we can only, we can only, oh we can overhaul for a few races, it's 296000 so. I mean we're still kind of low on dough, but it, it really, it will help in the long run eventually, I mean, it, until I get to, what is it, uh, California, we have the, you know, everything. So that would be good to, to, good to know, I guess. Um, is this six race? No, wait. Six races? So oh, after California, my bad. But yeah, it's still going to be good to have that ready to go. I mean, it's, I think it'll be exciting to get that done. I, yeah, we lost a top five spot in the series, but we are like, probably still top ten after that top ten run. I mean, we had uh, Mark Marl with points lead now. Uh, going second year, drop kick to third. Uh, we're still 16 points, so that's nice. Uh, 58 points back, so we are losing ground a little bit on the, the points leader, but uh, we have the rest of the season to make it up. And uh, we have some good, we have some really good tracks on schedule. I'm mean, excited for later right on, and uh, it's gonna be good. Harvick, where did Harvick go? Ooh, wow, he's outside top 20 points right now. That's uh, 
And that last place you're at now is that's probably four Um I don't know. This is what a what a race it was though. I mean we had some uh we had some runs that like were pretty pretty crazy, but at the same time we just have we led a lap yet? Just, yeah, we led one lap this season. But I, mean, but I wanted to lead some more laps, get some bonus points, and uh, we probably could have stayed top. We probably, I don't know, we, we, we could have stayed tied with us to off the for 50 points if we led eight laps, but uh, I didn't want to stay out too long, so that was my problem. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, whew. I don't know what else to say. I mean, that was just a fun race overall, and uh, I think we'll still like have like. We still have the best racing ahead of us, honestly. Like, we, uh, four races in, we are, we've done some really good races. Texas coming up soon at Talladega. I'm really excited for those races. Those are tracks I'm really good at. I've gotten really good at, so. Well, I think we'll do have some really good races ahead of us, and maybe we'll get a couple wins before we get the All Star race, so that'll be awesome. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed that. If you did, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, ring bell notifications on anything new coming to this channel, where it's more NASCAR Dragon Dragon Sports or Real Mode or anything else otherwise that I might have planned. We'll see. It's been, it's been a fun season so far in Career Mode. Season 3 has uh, been pretty crazy. Come on, for more updates uh, on what's coming on the channel and what I might. what are in case you might come this, this season, so you'll have some fun with that. I'll see y'all next one. Take care, everybody.